Hey, welcome to Flugatronic. Up now we're going to take a look at another new iPad app. This is the Swam Cello from Audio Modeling. Now I've posted uh, quick looks at the E-flat flugelhorn and the Swam bass flute as well. And so this will be kind of a quick run through of the app. We'll, uh, we'll listen to a few presets. And also with this one, we'll look at mapping some of the MIDI controls to breath to get a little more control over some of the uh, some of those parameters. Uh, once again, I'm using my Warble MIDI wind controller with the Native American style flute fingering mode and with uh, sending breath as expression. So that's very important to get the most out of these SWAM instruments. Okay, so let's launch the SWAM Cello 3 app now. All right, this is the home screen. And just like with the other uh, instruments, what you want to do first is pick your MIDI preset. And I'm just going to use the breath controller default. Again, if you have a different uh, wind controller or keyboard controller, uh, you can set, set that up for, um, for your controller instrument. I'm just going to pick wind controller default for the warble. So just straight out of the box, let's see what it sounds like. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Pretty, pretty wide range on this instrument, so it goes down to a C2, which is what I, was, what I was playing first there. Let me go ahead and bump my octave up a couple and see what the high end sounds like. Goes even higher. All the way up to an E6. Wow. Not sure why you would want to play a cello up that high. Well, the low end sounds so nice. Okay, let's take a look around the app a little bit. Um, first thing, you do have several different cellos modeled here. So probably about uh, 10 or 12 options there, just give you different tone colors. Now, some of the controls here, you have a bow or pizzicato position. So that's where uh, you can play either closer to the bridge or higher up uh, on the fretboard. And just kind of, kind of like with gu guitar, you're going to get a uh, little bit brighter sound playing closer to the bridge, a little bit darker sound playing closer to um, the nut. Does cello have a nut? <laughs> <laughs> you also have bow pressure. So it really gets nasty up uh, into the high regions there. You get up above about 0.8, gets into the scratch region. So 
that's cool. Um, now, as uh, I said on the other videos, the Warble only has one uh, expression controller, and that's the breath itself. So if you wanted to control, say, your bow position or bow pressure in some other way, you'd have to use a different controller or uh, use your finger on the iPad itself to play that. But one thing you can do, and let's uh, give this a, a try, you can actually map breath to more than one thing. So right now I've got it mapped to expression. Uh -oh. There we go. But at the same time, let's see what happens if I map bow pressure. And the easiest way to do this is just click the learn button and play a little bit. It, it'll, it'll pick up that that CC2 is uh, being played. Uh, so if I X back out of here, now you can see the expression should be controlling both the expression uh, slider as well as the bow pressure here. So you can see you can pull in that nasty scratch there just by blowing uh, to full expression. Another thing you can do here is play with the curve. So you can assign a curve here, and there's a couple of options. So default is just linear, straight, straight linear. Um, you can also change it um, several here. So there's a, a kind of a slow, couple of different uh, ramps. You can also have an on-off. Two kinds. All right, so it's either an on-off switch or you can do a logarithmic curve here. So this one. You have to blow a little bit harder to get uh, to get higher up the curve, and this one you'll have to blow a little bit easier. So depending on what effect you want, you can uh, you can choose your, your shape. And there's some other, um, other controls here. So just go back to linear. Actually. Let's do that one. So now I've got to blow pretty hard to get it up into the scratch zone. Yeah, pretty much false. That, that's uh, that'd be a, a neat effect. So you can just play regular, and then if you really want to get that scratch in there, just give it a good honk and you'll get it. Yeah. All right, I think that's all for today. Thanks for watching.